Hello. Today we're going to do something that can be a bit of a problem, but in practice is actually really easy once you've got the right tool. And the problem is like this. We've got a rectangle that you'd like to be a bit more rectangular because you might have shot it upwards or sideways or something like that. Um, and the tool is the perspective tool. And let's bring up the little menu comes with it. There we go. It's a modal box here. Um, this comes with a grid on top, which I don't find particularly useful because it just shows you where it's being stretched. So I turn that off. And if I want to see a grid, I will, uh, which I'll use later, I use it from the view show grid up here, which I can turn on with control quote. I'll just leave it off just a moment. We'll turn it on when we need it. So the first thing we're going to do is, and this is the real trick in this, is go to the destination here and the mode and change that to source. Now what we're going to do is move the corner nodes here, drag these down, and there's a nice rectangle here we're going to use. So it's that one, this one. Do it approximately at first and then we'll zoom in to do it accurately. That one, and just move that out of the way, and that one. And then I'll control roll the mouse to zoom in and get that nicely in that corner. Then go across here. Get that one nicely in that corner and go downwards here to get that one nicely in that corner and the last one where are we going to go? Oops, we overshot it? No, we're going over here. I lost myself there. Here we are. What is lost is found. Get that into that corner there. Now we can do a control zero to see everything. And the trick here again is to change the source to destination. Nothing much seems to have happened, but what has happened is if I grab the corner node now, now I'm moving the whole thing. So it's now staying there relative to the picture and I can change it to anything I like. This is where I will turn on the grid so I can get this nice and straight. I've also got the magnet turned on up there so I can snap to the rectangular grid. So I'll bring this round here to somewhere like this. Where's that roughly? And this somewhere like this. And somewhere like this. Usually you just want to move it a bit but it's, you know, it's clunk on that there. This semicircle is useful here, so I can move these up and down as needed to get that looking about right. I think that'll do from there. What I can also do if I want to is to show, rather than have it purely rectangular, which is just fine, is maybe move this in a little bit here. Either side, same amount, just say one grid snap there, for example, to make it look like I am looking up. So that's OK there. So I use no, just crop and go to opposite corners. And here I'll crop from the top there to include the monkeys. And I'll crop from the bottom here. I'll show a bit of the door as well. So I'll be about symmetrical because that's what I want this one to be. And click apply. I can view, take off my grid. And there we are. That's a big improvement, isn't it? If I haven't got quite regular amounts here, because of the way that this is done, I can actually drag this out a bit here, even that up. This is a nice thing about the grid. Apply. Oh, it hasn't lost it. If I wanted to cut off the expert, uh, external bits, I could use the rasterize, but that's just fine. So there we go, and thanks for watching.